And you can just talk about whatever we're seeing, no problem. Right, so um, we are on your left. That is our West Point pool. This is a relaxation pool, very popular with our families because of the two slides that we have. Um, what you're seeing now, this is Lazy River, so you just hop on the... Uh... Inner tube? Sorry? Do you have an inner tube? You just... So you have the orange one and the... Uh... Uh. <laughs> and it'll, it'll carry you around. That sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, we have also a pool in the east wing, so that's more relaxation. You have the pool bar where uh, you can get a drink from. That's a swimming pool bar. And also, uh, you have water hammocks. And just, it's not adults only pool, you don't advertise it that way. But uh, kids do have to be 14 years old because of the presence of alcohol to be able to come to the main pool. Manchester City uh, for training. And, uh, we, use a, we build a lot of uh, uh, so like a football and training camps. And, uh... Now I had a question because sometimes you go to some resorts, they have tennis courts, and you can sometimes hire a tennis professional. Yeah. Do you have any soccer professionals that you can hire? Uh, not soccer Going to the marina, you can tell us which one's your boat, Jeff. <laughs> it's the biggest one. You're supposed to say it's oh, the biggest course. one. <laughs> so this is uh, so all this is palace ground um, during the winter time. Uh, over there, palace the trees. Uh, so all these are landscapes. So whichever, so like angle. During the winter time, when uh, people can come outside, have picnics, uh, and uh, just roam around. I mean, this is the great advantage of Everyone's Palace, it's uh, outdoor uh, uh, activity space. Now, I had a question. So, the people having the picnics, are those people just live around the area and can come and have a picnic, or do you have to be staying at the hotel? Uh, so, we offer a picnic packages, so they would be open like uh, kind of like a temporary pop up restaurant. Okay. So, they would have picnic baskets, uh, so like buffet, uh, this back in the day. Well, based on fully uh, restored yet, but uh, obviously with, with the current regulations, the way it is going, it would be highly likely to have a person on the Yes, it's great that things are finally opening up. And Get back. Uh, right from here, uh, this is very less well known because uh, not a lot of people come across here to the right now, but we do have a lot of respect. That, that uh, building of this, it looks very familiar buildings to other places around the world. Is that a hotel as well? Miles over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where I have to go later tonight. Because it looks like Atlantis, right? Is that? Yeah, kind of... yeah. I mean, with the arch and, you know. This is panoramic. So, are any of these yachts you can rent for going out? or? Uh, I'm afraid these are all private. So, oh, private. So, uh, if you know the owner, you're good to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure they have a captain, so I don't think I'll be taking the keys. <laughs> so is that a theme park over there too? There's a... Right? No, so that's, the, uh, that's part of the Marina Mall. That's uh, a that Ferris wheel over there. Oh, ah, okay. So, yeah. yeah, I'll go look for... Later I'll be going to dinner there. Very nice. So I think it opens, closes at uh, 10, I think. Oh, much later, I believe. Oh, wow. Uh, so The shopping malls here, they open at 10 a.m. But they close as much later. Right? And especially uh, during Ramadan, where uh, I think the local uh, uh, so the 
Emiratis, they like to have uh, long nights, you know, they, they start, uh, uh, you know, catching up with their friends, uh, like uh, in, the, in the evening, after, because the meal time you have to spend with family, right? That's right. So uh, after that, you can, uh, they, they, they spend with friends outside. So on the right here, is that the palace? That's the presidential palace. Presidential right. palace, and... So now people can tour that. That's where I think they have the fireworks on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, late at night? Uh, no, we, uh, so they have the light show. Oh, that's it, the light show, that's it, the light show. But, uh, yes, and this is the one, this is the Kassar Watan, and you can get uh, tickets to go in there, and it's highly recommended. Yeah, so I'm going to have to try that, I think, on the 27th. I'll, I'll go there on the 27th, because I think it's a Thursday. Well, it's either this one or the mosque, if you are sure about flying. Both are quite nice, but uh, with the uh, I would say uh, I would say they're, they're two different, very functional buildings. So uh, we're religious ones, definitely the mosque. Uh, this one is more about the culture, how basically uh, you know, you'll, you'll see the banqueting equipment that they use to welcome our world leaders. Uh, you will see uh, a lot of the philosophy that the gifts that they have received from. Uh, from Definitely more cultural experience. Yeah, because I'm definitely going to the mosque tomorrow. So that's good. So I'll go to the mall tonight. The mosque is tomorrow. And the Louvre is tomorrow. And then when I come back, I'll do probably the palace there and Yas Island on the 28th. Yeah. And on the 29th, I'll be heading back to Toronto. So just a jam packed schedule. Get as much seeing a little bit of everything until until I get to come back there's nothing like going for uh, coming just to do a quick site tour of all the different places yes everybody says you're going on vacation no I'm working <laughs> The whole time I'm working. <laughs> uh, well, not bad, not even the, uh, you know, the, the temperature, the, uh... Yeah, it's beautiful. I think it's 32 degrees here today. Yeah. Now, what, well, the thing for me is I enjoy meeting people. It's not only getting out, finally traveling again, but meeting people, uh, you know, seeing beautiful places and trying different foods. That's what it's... So do you uh, partake in any of these sports or activities? Um, yeah, I mean, one of the, uh, it's like, a, I mean, not in here, but uh, the, in the palace you have a lot of things. That's the camel I was uh, talking to you about. Well, there's a camel over here? Yeah, that's our heritage tent. Uh, that's coming up. So inside we have, uh, like, uh, our staff will tell you a bit about the local culture. We have three camels. for spin. Also on top of this there are four peacocks uh, roaming around the palace grounds. Uh, oh. they're, they're not bound to a place so you'll have to so like uh, find them. Yeah find them. Uh, Hide and go seek. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'll do I'll do a scavenger trunk. Anybody who brings a peacock back gets fries. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said we have uh, art installments uh, throughout the uh, palace. Are, uh, yeah so it's really I mean if you stay here we really encourage you to Is it well lit at night so when the temperature is not a lot nicer it's good to Absolutely. go to? Absolutely. Uh, and for couples it's the most romantic setting that you can have. Uh, speaking of romantic settings, that is our barbecue al Casa restaurant. Those are not beach cabanas. And uh, they only open during the winter season. Oh, that's good. It's the, uh, it's, yeah, it's the Alcosta dining experience. It's like a, a grilled uh, uh, seafood and 
States. So, yeah. so when is your winter season starting to end? Oh, it started uh, in early October. Perfect. So we are now in the winter season. Fantastic. There's the Mediterranean restaurant. Exactly. And here we are. Very, very much.